humans have long dreamed of exploring other worlds, whether that's the planets in the solar system or whole other star systems and galaxies far, far away. But everything in outer space is almost insurmountably distant, kept out of our reach by the cosmic speed limit of light speed. But what if there was some way to get around the speed of light and to go wherever we wanted almost instantly? This is Unveiled, and today we're answering the extraordinary question, what if humanity had a mass relay? Are you a fiend for facts? Are you constantly curious? Then why not subscribe to Unveiled for more clips like this one and ring the bell for more fascinating content. Mass relays are the most important part of the lore of BioWare's long-running, wildly popular video game series, Mass Effect, which began in 2007. In the world of Mass Effect, the Milky Way is home to a dozen different intelligent races, some organic and some synthetic, all of which collaborate to form a galactic society. There is a council of the most prominent figures and aliens at the heart of it all, which determines and enforces galactic law. But the mass relays are ultimately the main reason that such a spacefaring society is possible. They're found in all the most important star systems, and indeed, discovering a mass relay is what any species needs to do in order to fully join the galactic community. In the game, mass relays are the only real method by which any given group can escape the confines of its own home system without having to use tedious, time-consuming FTL drives. They're mechanisms which enable their users to jump instantaneously around the galaxy to anywhere else where there's another mass relay ready to receive them. Importantly, in the world of the game, the mass relays aren't actually built by the galactic races that they benefit, but by a race of sentient machines known as the Reapers instead. And unfortunately, one of the things the Reapers want to do is to periodically wipe out all intelligent life. But for this video, we'll leave that part of the story out. We're not today imagining that we live in a galaxy secretly controlled by giant monstrous AIs, but we are asking, would it be possible for humankind to build its own mass relays? And what would life be like with this spectacular sci-fi device at our disposal? Like all good science fiction, there is some basis in reality for the technology at play here, and it serves to solve some real problems in physics that really do hinder interstellar and intergalactic travel. What a mass relay actually does, according to the lore, is alter the mass effect field of an object, usually a spacecraft, which changes how much mass it has, enabling it to achieve impossible speeds without having to worry about an infinite fuel supply. And the fuel required for FTL travel is usually about where most plans fall apart. Traditionally, for far future-thinking scientists, this is where exotic matter comes in, though. Exotic matter is a hypothesized new type of matter with different properties to normal or baryonic matter, meaning it can therefore be used as the fuel we need to fly FTL. It's one reason why we so often see dark matter used as fuel in other science fiction, but in Mass Effect it's called Element Zero, a strange substance with all kinds of unconventional properties, including allowing for mass relays to work. For humanity to build its own mass relay then, we would need exotic matter too whether that's dark matter, element zero, or something else entirely. And what's exciting is that we are already trying to find it, especially since exotic matter is a major part of probably the most famous proposed FTL travel mode to date, the Air drive, a warp drive that is theoretically possible. Check out our previous videos on light speed technology for more about the Air. But for now, let's imagine that the resources, whatever they are, do exist in the universe, mass relays can actually be built, and humans are actually building them. What then? One potential problem is that without a godlike band of all-seeing AI to freely populate the universe with them, building part of a mass relay might be easy, but building a full here and there connection could still be extremely difficult. Mass relays are called relays because they need to relay between point A and point B. Both points need to have them in use then before one of them can work. This is disappointing, but it still doesn't quite make the prospect impossible. Again, as many of the same things needed for mass relays are also needed to make other hypothetical types of FTL drives work, we just have to initially employ alternative light speed options until our network of mass relays is constructed. In fact, in one game in the franchise, Mass Effect Andromeda, because there are no mass relays in the Andromeda galaxy, Characters board an advanced arc and put themselves into cryosleep for 600 years to get there. It's not instant travel as per a mass relay, 
But seeing as Andromeda is some 2.5 million light years away from us in real time, 600 years would represent quite the shortcut. And if we did have the technology to reach Andromeda in that time, even without a relay, then we'd also be able to cross the comparatively small 100,000 light years of the Milky Way within just 25 years, too. We'd still need generation ships, but now only for one generation at a time. So clearly, for humankind to have mass relays, we'll have to have also developed a much higher and more capable technological baseline in general. There are many steps between what we are now and what we could be then, not least the discovery of an exotic matter to power it all. But the development of even just a single FTL travel method would be absolutely key. There's no doubt that we have made some impressive progress in real-world space travel over the last few decades, but even one of the fastest interplanetary probes we've launched so far, Voyager 1, isn't scheduled to break out of even the Oort cloud, the outer region of just the solar system, for about another 30,000 years. And of course, the Voyager 1 is far, far too small to have carried a crew with it anyway. So, with all of that said, although you would still need to find travelers willing to enter into cryosleep for a quarter century to turn Mass Effect-style relays into a reality, the trade-offs would be pretty phenomenal. For one, they wouldn't have to worry about a long return journey, because they'll have been sent to their destination to build a relay to beam them straight back again. Easy. But more than that, they'd be the pioneers of a new age. And in many ways, the building of mass relays would only mirror various technological advancements we have already achieved, particularly with travel, and especially with ships and planes. For example, the early aviators didn't build a plane capable of circumnavigating the globe first and then start building the airports. The airports and runways were built in tandem with the development of aircraft until, eventually, you have the far-reaching and incredibly fast airplanes of today. Something similar would happen with mass relays powered by exotic matter. It's just that instead of bridging the vastness of oceans, we'd now be bridging the vastness of the vacuums of space. One thing's for sure, a working mass relay network would comfortably be proof enough that we'd made it to Type 3 and beyond on the Kardashev scale. We'd be an advanced civilization, totally untethered to anything besides the universe itself, and totally at one with how the universe works. We'd know how many other intelligent creatures, if any, there were, where all the best planets to sustain human life could be found, and how to get to them along the fastest possible routes. With a working mass relay, you could visit that friend who lives on the furthest side of the Milky Way, thousands of light years away from home, and still be back in time for dinner. It would be a technological breakthrough of truly unprecedented proportions and an almost unimaginable scale, transcending humanity to a higher role in the cosmos. For now, it stands as a really cool video game concept only. But in the future, you just never know. And that's what would happen if humanity had a mass relay. What do you think? Is there anything we missed? Let us know in the comments, check out these other clips from Unveiled, and make sure you subscribe and ring the bell for our latest content.